Let's talk Honey Pop, shall we? <laughs> Alright, so my usual formula for doing this is that I beat the game and then I give like a brief summary of what I thought about it and how it played and should you play this and whatnot. Uh, the problem with Honey Pop is I already came in not liking it for several reasons. One, I'm not a puzzle fan. Two, it outright blatant lies that it's a dating sim. Uh, that said, there is some kind of corny charm to it that is to be enjoyed about it, but that's that's really only the briefest description I can give to this game, so uh, allow me to uh, insinuate more into this game. I dislike this game for several reasons. Um, one, of course, is the porn. It's fine to have porn in your game. Visual novels have been doing that for decades now. But there is a difference between having porn in your game and having a scene that features sex. The difference is, a scene including sex is, it's not the main focus of the game. But it happens in there anyways, because sex is a normal part of human life. But most games that everyone associates with, they always think that, oh, it's the main focal point of the game, but that's not, uh, that's not it. Those are eroge visual novels, which are basically meant to be porn. Think of it like hentai, but visual novel style. That's really what Honey Pop feels to me. It feels like I, <laughs> this may be a little outdated and dating myself a lot, but it reminds me of all of those kind of like porn-esque games on new grounds. That's really what this feels like to me. You do a so you do a task, and then it rewards you with a picture of porn. Like that's what it feels like. Except this has obviously been polished up and all prettied and made to look good. Aside from that, like you could just Google those images if you really care that much about it. If you're a big puzzle enthusiast about this game, it's bejeweled. Go play that. Go play Candy Crush. Go play any other game that copies this formula. There is nothing really I enjoy about this game. The voice acting is okay. It's what you expect from a, uh, uh, like, non-AAA title game. It's decent enough. Enough that I didn't hate it. Except for Momo! God, do I hate Momo! That leads me into my other problem I have with this game, and that's the characters. The characters, my god! This game claims to be a dating sim, but it is not. It is the farthest from it. It is a puzzle game, purely. It can only be called a dating sim by the barest minimum that the premise is you are dating these women. But you're not. You're going up to them. There is no chance of them rejecting you. There is no nothing. You go up to them and then you play Bejeweled. That's not a dating sim. There's no other thing to it. I proved through most of this you didn't even have to ask questions to them. You just had to level up your stats and get lucky. Ugh, oh, it's... Oh. But I hate their personalities. Their personalities are cookie cutter at best. They're all cardboard cutouts of some kind of trope. Some kind of thing. We have the obligatory bitch, the nerdy girl who doesn't go out much, the chick who enjoys school, the teacher who may also be a sex addict, the MILF, the high school dropout with a kid. I, fuck, we have a cat girl in there too, and an alien, a fairy, and a god. And unfortunately, that's really where it drops off at. Outside their cookie cutter exterior, they never grow as characters. That's what visual novels and dating sims do, though. As you build that relationship with a character, they start to reveal things about themselves. They start to grow as a character, maybe even going beyond their thing. Maybe they have some kind of, like, internal conflict they overcome. That never happens in Honey Pop. You see the characters, you talk to them, you play Bejeweled, you fuck them, that's it. Nothing changed. Not even the main character changes. I mean, aside from the fact that he got a lot of, like, he got sex a lot he himself shows no change of character then again he's a blank slate basically meaning that the the player is supposed to envision himself upon the character 
The problem with it is, though, he's set up to be the dumb idiot. The guy who was like, Oh, God. I wonder what a girl looks like. Oh, God. <laughs> Even so much that all your options in the beginning of the game are stupid. There's none, neither, none of those you would say to any girl ever. Oh, God. It's, I don't even know where to continue from there. The characters show no growth. The main protagonist has no growth. There is no growth in this game. There is no, there's no growth at all. Like, aside from difficulty. But aside from that, nothing changes. Nothing happens. And I think that's the biggest crime with this game. It claims to be a dating sim, but it outright lies. One of the biggest things I found out, looking back at other things, is that it also smacks you in the face with the illusion of choice. Now, I never showed this because I didn't do their question multiple times. But when you first meet the girls, it obviously brings up those three questions that you're allowed to ask them. And you would assume that one of them is right. You would be wrong. They are all right. It does not matter what you say to them the first time you meet them. They will always decide to hang out with you. And that is the most blatant slap in the face that I think games can give. It is the illusion of choice. You feel as though you've done something right, but all three answers will take you to the same place. Illusion of choice can be done real well if it's executed properly, but the problem is you only have three choices on this one and they don't expand into anything else. Uh, it just real, really pisses me off. Again, I'm already pissed this game tries to call itself a dating simulator, but it's not. You would never go about dating any girl like this, asking them what their weight and their cup size are immediately, and not getting smacked in the face. Even the total bitch doesn't do anything about it. This is purely for people who want to see some cheap porn without googling, for whatever reason. Or for people who enjoy puzzle games. But even then, there's still better puzzle games. I really don't know what the audience for this is, but no doubt it's probably preteen boys who just want to uh, fucking masturbate to some porn. I, aside from having its cheesy factor at the end, like, they're so cookie, cookie cutter, like, cut out cardboard characters that you just chuckle and laugh at it, that's not enough to make it a good game. That makes it not boring, but not good by any standard. Again, this is my opinion, and frankly, I really feel that too many people let this game slide far too much, but what do I care? I don't. That's what I think of Honey Pop. So, if, if for whatever reason you liked it, I'm not going to judge. That's just my opinion, and that's where I stand on this game. So... Until next time, guys, I'll catch you all later. Asta. Hey, guys, thanks for watching this episode of Honey Pop. If you've liked this episode, for whatever crazy reason, be sure to leave it a like and share it with all of your friends. Don't actually stop the spread of this game. Anyways, now I'm going to go continue playing Bejeweled to get in ladies' pants. That's how dating works. Until next time, guys, I'll catch you all later. Asta.